Hey guys, welcome back to another game making tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be covering the events and actions of an object. So if you haven't seen my previous tutorial, which covered the four main co components of Game Maker, I'll leave a link in the description and probably a link on the screen right now. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. So the two main events that you will use mostly um, during making a game in Game Maker will probably be the Create and Step event. So the create event, which is what I've created right here, is triggered when the object is created and is commonly used to define variables. Remember, this is only one run once when the object is created. So you can see I've created this event right here, the light bulb, and it's this one right here. Okay, so now let's let's add an action, okay? So this tutorial is mainly based on code, not really drag and drop. So if you're looking to do like drag and drop, um, if you want to learn that, this is not the right tutorial for you, I'm sorry. So go to the left, to the right, and you want to see control, and drag in the code. It'll be the first one in this section. Okay, so if you're really new to programming, you have no um, background knowledge, I'll be covering variables and loops and all that program stuff in the next tutorial. However, today I'm just going to show you some really basic uh, variables. So we're going to be defining a variable called HP. Now to define a variable, we just write the variable name, it says HP. And then you go equal, zero. So I'm basically here, I'm assigning data to this variable. All right. Actually, let's make this three. So let's take that. So right now, what this program is saying is when the object is created, let's give it a, a HP of three. Okay, now for the next one is the step event. Step events are triggered every frame of the game. If your room speed, your FPS is 30, then your step event will be executed 30 times per second. This is usually for uh, used for controlling states or checking for user inputted events such as checking for death. Remember, step events are triggered constantly. Okay, so let's add event and click step and just choose the first option right here. Drag in the code and let's um, let's do a simple check here. Now this check, let's do two slashes, this is for commenting. Now commenting does it's not really code, it's um just just like a guider. So we're gonna say here, check for death. Now we're gonna make it firstly a simple if statement. Once again, I'm going to be covering this in the next tutorial, if you're not too sure what it is. But for those that are somewhat familiar with coding, you should understand this. So we're going to say if, right, just a simple if, space, and then use two brackets, and inside these brackets is our condition. So if the variable HP is less, so this is less, in math you should learn that this is greater, and this is less is less or equal to zero. So it's saying that basically if the HP is zero, which means that it's dead, then use two curly braces. And inside these curly braces, we'll say instance destroy. Now instance destroy is a function um, for game maker and what it does is just uh, destroys that uh, it destroys that object. So we're checking that if the HP is zero, then let's do a comment here. Destroy the object. Tick. All right, cool. So right now it's saying we're gonna create the event. We're gonna assign three to the the variable HP, and then it's gonna constantly check for that HP to be zero. And if it is zero, it's gonna destroy that instance. Now this is pretty good at the moment. But we actually don't have anything that um that decreases the HP. There's no enemies, there's nothing like that. So we're just gonna do a really simple one. So go add event, go mouse, and here you can see we've got left button, right button, middle button. But let's go to the global mouse and click left pressed. So the difference between global and just left, the left pressed if it is um if your mouse presses on this object, the O square. So if your mouse presses on this thing, then this event will be triggered. The global mouse 
a left pressed, it triggers when you press anywhere on the screen. So we're just gonna do that for this tutorial. Once again, let's drag in the code. Now we wanna decrease one every single time we press on the screen. So we're gonna go HP minus equal one. This is basically the same thing as HP equals HP minus one. Once again, I'll cover more on this on the next tutorial. So let's tick. Okay, that, now let's run through the program. We create the program. Okay, um, HP is three. Every single time we press the screen, it'll minus one. And if it reaches zero, it destroys itself. So let's run this game. Okay. So let's click one two and three just like that the object is destroyed so that's a really simple program that utilizes two of the main um events as well as a mouse event now let's say we wanted like 10 mouse events that'll be pretty hard to organize in this ui so a very common thing that people do is since step events are triggered constantly instead of creating multiple multiple events with the ui it is common to code other checks inside this event. So let's delete the global left press. Click on step, double click on the code action. All right, so now let's check for, instead of a mouse press, let's check for a keyboard check. So let's do a comment, check for keyboard. Uh, let's do a space bar too. So we'll do if, and this is a function that checks for um, any key. So keyboard check underscore press parentheses. And inside this parentheses, we're going to put it an argument. And this argument is asking for which key on the keyboard do you want me to check? In this case, it's the space bar. And so we're going to do vk underscore space. I'll, I'll do a tutorial on all the um, inputs. Like for example, VK shift, how to get letters, it's not that hard. Actually, I'll quickly show you right now. So if you want to do VK, so VK is kind of like the function key. So if it's a tab, we do VK underscore tab. If it's a shift, we do VK underscore shift. Um, control, I think we can control, I'm not sure. Yeah, we can control. And if it was a letter, like an A, a D, a W, A, S, D, um, we use ORD. So we use ORD, parentheses, and inside these um, quote, we do our letter. So A or any of these. That's basically how the input system works. It's not that hard. But we're just going to use VK space. Oops. Alright. So in here, VK underscore. Curly brackets, and in here, we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did for our mouse check. Comment here and say decrease HP. It's always good practice to comment, so uh, if you, if someone else reads it, they know what's happening, and if you come back after a long time, you know what's happening. So in put this in UI view. This is the event, and this is the action. So let's stick that. And let's play this event. So now if you press on the screen, nothing happens. If I press the space bar once, twice, three times, it disappears. Yeah, so that's kind of the basis of the event and action system in Game Maker. It's not too hard. If you look in here, there's a lot more here. In fact, I'll quickly go over them right now. So this destroy instance. This, is, this happens when the event is being destroyed. So if you see here, instance destroy. So what happens when it destroys? Let's just do a simple um, example. Uh, game end. What that does, just stops the game. I'll show you that in action. Once, twice, third time. The game ends because the object is being destroyed, and when it's destroyed, 
we end the game. Another common one is collision. We only have one object right now, so we can't really do that, but I'll cover more on that in next tutorials. It's basically saying if this object is colliding with another object, then what do you want to do? The draw event, once again, this is going to be a tutorial by itself. The key release is if you release the key. Key pressed if you press the key. The keyboard. Alright, so one of the differences between the key press and the keyboard. So the keyboard is checking if it's actually touching it. So if you hold, uh, let's say, space down, this will still trigger. The key pressed is only if you press it once, and then it'll be triggered for only once, right? not, not, not forever. Um, don't worry about this one. That's for web and stuff. Mouse, um, once again, this is pretty logical. Mouse enter, mouse leave, mouse wheel up, and other. So outside room is if the object is going outside of the room. Game start is when the game starts. Views, um, outside view, yep. Game end. Room start is when the room actually uh, is initializing. And room end when you move on to another room. Or, yeah. So animation end, this is when your animation, uh, it runs to the to the last sub-image. And yeah, you don't really need to know other than that. Alright, cool. I think that's all you need to know. Alarms, once again, this will be covered in another tutorial. Stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. See you guys.